Last time on the Summer Sphere. I pushed further north and despite entering the tropics, it looked as dusty and dry as ever. I set up camp in Exmouth and went to have a first little explore of the local beach. It was beautiful and got me really excited for the next day. How might be the happiest person alive? <laughs> And in this episode, one of my biggest dreams is coming true. Good morning. It's still really, really early. It's like 10 past 6 or something. I'm for some breakfast and coffee to wake this thing here up. so early because today I was going to swim with the biggest fish in the sea, the whale shark. Alrighty, so off I go. Wish me luck. Bye bye, Jane. Alright, I'm now waiting for my bus. I'm super nervous. I hope we'll see one. I'd be very sad if I had come all this way to not see a whale shark. So wish me luck guys, wish me luck. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Hi, hi. I hopped on the bus and 40 minutes later arrived at the boat ramp on the other side of the northwest cape. A small tender took us in the big boat, where we met the crew and got set up with the all-important snorkeling gear. We'll start handing out some gear, alright? We're on the boat now, I got my wetsuit on and we're going for a little morning snorkel. This being the Ningala Reef, I was immediately surrounded by coral and colourful fish. It was a fantastic way to spend our time, whilst the spotter planes were up in the air, trying to find a whale shark. Once they did, all oh, hell broke loose. We rushed back to the boat to make our way to deeper waters. The excitement and anticipation on the boat grew and grew. We would go into the water in groups, Fully geared up, we had to line up on the back of the boat. I was so nervous. And then came our cue. So here I was. Bopping about in the ocean with the biggest fish in the world somewhere underneath me. But try as I might, I just couldn't see the bloody thing. And then this shape appeared. We all started to swim like crazy. Amongst the crew was an underwater photographer who was trying to capture each one of us with a whale shark. She told us the exact position we would have to be in for that to happen. And I really wanted to have that photo. So there was no holding me back. I came so close but was so out of breath that I almost gave up. I pushed through and when the photographer gave me a thumbs up, I knew I had the picture. It was the best experience of my life. With an average size of five to 10 meters, these sharks truly were gentle giants. Just slow enough to keep up for a little while. I couldn't stop looking at them. They are beautiful. And I was beyond over the moon. We hopped in and out of the water many, many times. But all good things must come to an end. And as time marched on, everybody's appetite grew. Lunch was served on the boat. And to our excitement, we even got to see some minky whales on our way back to shore. But just before going back on land again, we all hopped into the water one last time. 
beautiful again I mean yesterday we were treated like yesterday was pretty special it's a bit different today but yesterday was dead calm beautiful colors but I reckon if you look at the sky here behind me see those clouds there I reckon they're make for um, beautiful colors for the sunset so I've got my wide angle on my camera here and I will see if I can capture something really special all right, well, whilst I do that, I'm going to say goodbye to you for now and I'll see you next time. Cheers! Next time on the Summer Sphere. I just, basically, my plan is to just stop wherever I want to. <laughs> I have arrived at Turquoise Bay. I'm in the Mandu Mandu Gorge. This is all bullshit. Next time I say I want to go for a hike, just stop me.